Hey guys, I know my self here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at iOS 14.3 Developer Beta 1. Now I've had this software installed on my primary iPhone 12 Pro Max for about five days now, and I wanted to share with you guys some additional new features that I've come across that Apple has added to 14.3. And there's actually some really useful and nifty features that I've come across after five days of using the software. Now you can expect my follow-up video where I take a deeper dive into the battery, any additional bugs, and the YouTube community poll where you guys also provide some feedback. So first, let's take a look at everything that's new on 14.3 after five days of using the software. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the new splash screen that you get for the Apple privacy feature on iPhone. So the app privacy feature has been updated if you launch the App Store or the iTunes Store after updating to 14.3, you'll see this splash screen here where you can learn more of some of the latest updates to the app privacy feature and how developers are using your data within iOS. Now, there's also a new feature that we did talk about on my initial coverage for 14.3, and that is the new Apple Pro Raw feature, which is now available under the camera extension in settings here. If we go to format, you see the Apple Pro Raw feature. Now, you can turn this toggle on or off to remove the feature from the actual UI in the camera settings but there it is a new UI and a new feature for Apple Pro Raw it looks like Apple definitely uh, looking to add additional pro features to the iPhone 12 as time progresses with latest software updates now there's also a new update to the health application with a new pregnancy tab so you can keep tabs on that as well so a new pregnancy tab under health I'm glad to see that coming here to the iPhone now a new search engine is now available as well besides the Google the Yahoo the Bing and the Duck Duck go we have this fifth one here now you can find that of course if you go to the safari extension on your iphone you'll find the new search engine so there it is a fifth search engine has now been added to the iphone with the latest 14.3 now a really awesome feature that i seem to enjoy and didn't know i needed until apple has added this one and this one is for the home so if you have multiple home smart devices you have a one click update all now this will update all of your accessories around the home, which is extremely useful. Definitely used it uh, this weekend when updating all of my devices and the latest uh, HomePod minis were released and I paired everything together. I updated all the accessories and everything is working as it should. Definitely an awesome feature here for the home application and the home environment with the update all tabs. A really, really cool feature there. Now there's also a really awesome feature for Apple Music where you now get live animations on playlists. So for example, if you head on over to the Apple Music application and you're playing, let's say, for example, the Global Hits playlist, you see that it's actually moving. So it's a live animation here on the latest 14.3. It gives the application sort of a more character. So I kind of like that a lot. And last but not least, something that you can't see, but once you set it up with a new PS5, it now brings support for the new PS5 controller as well. So 14.3 definitely in the right direction. We'll take a deeper dive here in the next couple of days. Make sure to participate on the YouTube community poll, which will go live after this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.